please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Total Recall 2012 Movie Thoughts. Okay, so first, oh, first, one of the first gripes I had with th this movie upon, you know, watching it, not just stuff I thought that I might be bothered by, was they have this one guy talking about, you know, oh yeah, I had memories implanted three times better than my real life memories. Okay, it's a pretty central aspect of the short story and they implemented in the 1990 version, you're not supposed to remember having gone to recall. What would be the point? Why would you go somewhere where they make you think that something is real that isn't real if you can remember that it isn't real afterwards. That is just retarded. And I mean no offense to retarded people by that. I, I just... Yeah, it, it baffles me. It's, it's like they didn't understand what the concept was. In fact, I'm almost certain they didn't understand what the concept was because they're like, you know, strapping him into the chair, you know, hooking him up. You better enjoy it. Enjoy what? It's memories. It's not like you're, you know, making him think he's going through something now. He's supposed to wake up and think he came back from having done something. Again, that's kind of the idea. What, was he supposed to be there for several hours while, you know, a sequence of events plays out in his head? It's just, yeah, I, I really... baffling. Really baffling. Like I said in the review, I quite like the philosophical sort of exchanges in this. You know, I think, you know, something like the, you know, Matthias lines. Big mistake though, having his face very, you know, yeah, I, I guess it's still that they can't find him, but it just worked a lot better in the original. And I will not be giving away what it was in the original for anyone who hasn't actually watched that movie. Although I have no idea why you haven't. But, but yeah, you know, the, the thing about, you know, ah, you seek, you know, you seek to understand yourself by knowing your past, but, you know, you should really look in the present. It's kind of, you know, sort of a little bit going for the it's what you do or it's what you are now that defines you kind of thing. You know, I guess they listen to Katie Holmes and Batman Begins as well. You know, or the original movie. And the... You know, I, I like that they restore a few lines from the short story about how, you know, well, what is... You know, the, it's... Memories are just... Memories, it's just chemical stuff in your brain, you know, that's not exactly how they put it in the short story, but yeah, you know, it's, if your brain thinks that something is real, then, you know, isn't it real in a sort of way, and I, I thought they implemented them well, I, they didn't feel forced to me. I like that the ambiguity is still there, although, like I said, it feels like it's almost by accident. You know, like, well, well, this was something that was in the original. But, you know, they, they hook him up and the stuff flows through the, the tube thing, you know, and just after that happens, what could be the, you know, yeah, the, the false memory sort of thing begins, you know. So, yeah. The conclusion of Laurie was pretty weak. In fact, I thought both villains got really weak send-offs. You know, I mean, Brian Cranston, 
Did he have two knives, or was it the same one that he got back? Anyway, you know, he goes to beat up Colin, Colin beats him up. They fight for like a minute, maybe two, you know. Am, am I watching an Iron Man movie? What is, what is up with this? You know, give me more villain time. More, more d d fighting between hero and villain, you know. And Lori, if she has him right there, and he's unconscious, and the, you know, the doctor guy, medic, whatever, is with his back turned, why didn't she kill him? I don't know, wouldn't that have been cooler if he had been like, you know, just barely conscious or something, and she's like, shh, just relax, and, you know, she slowly, you know, moves a sharp instrument towards a part of his body, you know, and he sort of can't see it, but he sort of, I don't know, maybe he catches the reflection of something, or, you know, but instead it's just, she's playing the role, and suddenly, you know, he notices about the, that she doesn't have the bullet scar, and, oh, it's you, and what was she waiting for? How long was she gonna, you know, what if he hadn't noticed that? How long was she gonna be playing that role? You know, it, it, obviously she didn't have a lot of time there with him, so why, what was she waiting for? I do like that she's very distinctly, she even has a different accent, you know, so it's very clearly a role, you know, I thought that was a, a good decision. You know, she has like, I don't know, a British accent. I guess she just uses a real accent, really. I think she's British. When, you know, when once she's blown. Yes. Let's let that image sink in. Sorry. You know, that... It's it's that kind of... Yeah, it's, it's very distinctly something, you know, removed from the role that she played as her, his wife, yes. I quite like that she was there throughout the movie. That is one of the changes that I really like. You know, that, that's something that the original, I don't know, I, you know, I, actually I think it might have made the original better if they had made that decision as well. And here she's basically Richter, you know, they basically combine the two characters. And, you know, so she's the obsessive one hounding down him, yeah. I think it was really strange how they changed, I'm not going to be really spoiling the first movie, don't worry, or the 1990 movie. I did think it was weird how in this they make the change that she does know. Where Richter didn't know, she does know, and she still disobeys. You know, that was his... Why, why even make the change, really? You know, the, the palm phone thing, at first it seemed like a little cool. I'm glad they didn't use it too much because it was already getting a little goofy. You know, people talking into their palm. Are, are you sure it's looking really intense and we're supposed to take this seriously and ooh, it's your... They're talking into their palm! And their palm is like glowing! That's just goofy! You know, and, and he's like, you know, press it against some glass and that's kind of cool. And Brian Cranston says, in all seriousness, take me off the glass. Wow! That is an actor right there, being able to say that line and not cracking up. Wow. Anyway, the... I, I like how also they have that one scene where you briefly think that she is still his, his wife kind of thing, and she's like outside and you know, covered in the blanket, and she's like crying, and you know... And then as soon as it ends, she like throws it off and gets a gun and starts shooting at you know. Now, the... I, I, something I really would have liked was for Lori to get killed by... Excuse me, Melina. It sounds so weird. Excuse me, calling Beale Melina because... You know, in the original, the, the actress there, she looked like a Melina. Beale does not look like a Melina. You know, yeah. 
in general, I really felt like this just... Why was Beale there? She barely helped out, you know? I, and, and the girl can kick ass. We've seen it. So why have, you know, this stupid macho thing of constantly being the guy who saves the day, you know? I mean, she practically gets herself killed, you know, I think, yeah, actually, soon after that thing at the, you know, at the building with Harry coming in, you know, she walks out and just shoots, walks out from cover. There are synths there, you know, there are robots there shooting at, it's, wow, you know, and, and she's like, she apparently completely forgets that they're fighting for this really important cause, you know. Now, the, the scene with Harry, that was the one thing I, I mentioned in the review was kind of interesting. You know, it basically, you know, they didn't make up the scene for this movie, but I think that they do some kind of interesting things with it. I like that he suddenly has to kill Melina, you know, that it's, you know, we could shoot Melina. I mean, we've got plenty of guns outside, all trained on the two of you, but, which, again, you know, like I said in the review, why don't they manage to hit them? You know, this is the kind of thing, I don't have a problem with them escaping from a situation like that. I have a problem with them escaping from a situation like that by just running. If they had taken cover, if they had, like, gotten behind a metal table, you know, if they had thrown out a smoke ray, something, but you can't just have them running, that completely destroys the tension of the entire movie when such an obvious... I, I thought that people had stopped putting those scenes in action movies where the hero just runs and magically dodges all the bullets. You know, what the heck? I don't remember seeing that since, like, I don't know, the, a 90s action movie or something. Seriously, get with the times. Now, the... But, but yes, that entire scene, how, you know, he's saying it will show that you're, you know, dedicated to reality, so you have to shoot her. And, you know, suddenly he's, yeah, I think he aimed at her, and, like, you know, she aims back at him, and you have this, you know, I, I kind of wish that a little more had come of it, maybe, but... I do think that it's interesting that we have this entire scene that goes from they're aiming at us to we're aiming at each other. You know, it, it, it got closer, at least, to the paranoia that we're supposed to be feeling, you know, that we felt in the original movie. Now, the... I felt like the, I don't know, success, I guess, of the ending was a little easy, it, it was a little, yeah, it was, it was a little too obvious, it felt like it was setting up this big thing of, you know, we have this serious problem, which, you know, I thought it was, I don't know, maybe it's because I agree with it that I don't feel like it's too too much or something, but this whole thing, you know, Harry laid, no wait, Quaid lays it out when talking to Harry. We, we live in a crappy place. We commute half the world, you know, that's an exaggeration over real life, but still, and we, you know, we're stuck in this dead-end job. I don't think he says that, but the movie makes that clear, you know, he doesn't get the promotion because he's not from the UBF, or what it was called, and you know, then they go and get drunk on, you know, bad beer, you know, I, yeah, that is sort of middle class life in too many places today, and yeah, I, I thought that it was doing a pretty good job of making that, but then the solution is apparently just to take out the transport between the colony and UBF, which 
at the end of the day, was really just, it was kind of necessary to, you know, in, if there had been these, what was it, 50,000 robots, if they had been in like individual, not, not quite individual, but you know, if they had been on troop transports, jet powered troop transports, then it, you know, how would they have won the day at the end of the movie? But instead, they're all on this one thing, so they blow up that one thing, and then, you know, all the robots go with that. And after that, you know, we have this, ah, I've, you know, we've blown up the symbol of our oppression, of this, yeah, but you also killed the one leader of the world, as far as the movie, you know, puts it forth. And, okay, just, you know, now you, I guess, have to rebuild some kind of control. If it hadn't been destroyed, but if it had been, like, temporarily disabled or something, it's just, yeah, I, it's, I guess more changes would have to be made. But what I'm saying is this is very Hollywood, very shallow look at... You know, this is not going to fix things. I really hate to say it, but in time was closer to something being, something realistic, you know. Yeah, I, it just, that, that is not going to solve things. I, I'm reminded of this uh, excellent exchange in Press Start. If you haven't watched that and like video games, go buy it right now. Dark May Studios. And no, they're not paying me anything to, you know, advertise about how, you know, yes, this is the bad guy, but if we take him out, won't that just leave a power vacuum and, you know, leave the country without someone in charge to take care of things? And the response is just, nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, yeah, are we sure that this is the best kind of, yeah. I, I felt like, Cranston was intense enough for the role, but, you know, watching him and Farrell fight just really didn't work. It was, it was kind of awkward, you know. Yeah, I, I like the guy. I just, he's not really, you know, a physical match for Farrell, you know, and that just, yeah, it seems like they could have come up with something better there, or maybe they just shouldn't have had it be a straight-up fight like that. That might more or less cover it. I felt like the... There's that bit where they're... You know, I don't even remember. It is fairly early in the movie. Lori and, yeah, they had four, not four people, but three people and one humanoid robot fighting in one elevator. At what point did they, you know, why didn't someone at some point think, this is just too much, this is, you know, excess, why couldn't it have been two different elevators at least, you know, but no, there's apparently room for four people to be fighting, yeah, yeah. anyway, you know, Quay takes out the robot, and suddenly it's just the three of them, and what Lori does is plant a bomb and then jump out. Not thinking that the other two could jump out as well. Could she not have set it to less than, what was it, like 20 seconds? Did she not think that maybe they'd get back out? You know what, if I had been in that situation, and I just had to make some kind of, you know... I don't know, maybe she just, maybe it was a use it or lose it kind of thing. Maybe the warranty would expire on that particular piece of plastic explosive the next day. And she was like, I gotta use this. Yeah, I, I really want to blow something up. So, okay, I can live with that. She plans the thing. You know what I would have done after that? I wouldn't immediately jump out. I would have tried to break their legs so they can't get out. Or, failing that, just keep fighting them for 18 seconds, then jump out. You know, it just... Or better yet, don't use the explosive at all. I don't, did she not have any kind of short-range weaponry? I, I realize that a gun, you know, 
spite of what Second Amendment lovers might think, might not be the best, you know, solution for a close quarter situation like that, but you know, a knife, something, you know. I did think that the fighting between, you know, Beckinsale and Pharaoh was pretty good. You know, when they are in their own apartment, especially, you know, that, that worked well, and the whole thing, you know, you haven't even begun seeing me try to kill you yet, you know. And because I felt at least a little bit more invested in their relation, it felt a little more real than the Arnie Stone one, you know, the, yeah, when, when they make that change, it felt more like, you know, excuse me, I don't know, like, like some, excuse me, like something was lost, or like something was really off, you know, excuse me, like, this really shouldn't be happening, you know, why is, excuse me, why is she attacking him? And, yeah, you know, if that had been, if this had been the original movie, then it, you know, but now everyone knows that twist. I think what, you know what, what they should have done with this was completely play with our expectations. Have it seem like his wife is in on it and then turn the tables on and, and have her be actually trying to help him. That would have been freaking interesting. You know, imagine if she's like, Quaid, stay there, I'm gonna call the police, and he's like, no, don't call the police, I'm, I have to call the police, and she's like, you know, calling, you, you, you have to come here, my, my husband killed somebody, you just completely play with it, and, and maybe at the end of the scene, like, Quaid is, you know, almost threatening her, because he just, he has to get out of this situation, or he has to collect his thoughts, something, you know, and then, she gets shot, and then we see the real, handler, the real, you know, agent there to keep him in check, and your wife was a liability, you know, we d d just gave you the one we thought would, you know, calm you down the most, or something, I don't know, just play with our expectations, you know, even three-breast lady is back in, in the movie, you know, just, wow, did, did you just not think that yeah, it's, it's like they were afraid of straying from the original at all. It's just, yeah. I suppose that more or less covers it. I did like somewhat the exchange between, I think it's right before Farrell kills Branston, Cranston, that, you know, the, the, you know, the thing about, you know, you don't even know who you are. I mean, I know who I was, but I know who I am, or something like that. I thought that worked, you know, the, this whole thing of he's accepted that he is the result of his actions now. He is not the sum of his past, you know, and whether or not he did betray the, you know, the resistance or not, yeah, that was a double negative. Yeah, it... I don't know, it, it, I actually did think that, but yeah, anyway, finishing that thought, yeah, I, I felt like that was, that, that worked, you know, that was a sort of closure kind of thing for, you know, he's, he is fine with not, excuse me, not having all the answers, not knowing exactly what happened, because, you know, what happened happened, and now he can you know, take the consequences, even if he doesn't know exactly what happened, he's going to deal with what's happening now. You know, I thought that worked, and that was actually a little stronger than how it was in the original, which doesn't really address that particularly. It doesn't really provide closure in that way. I did feel like it was a little, I don't know, confusing, maybe, I guess, the, the whole thing with 
you know, Hauser wanted for this, you know, this secret identity and he had all this stuff. I don't know, I, I guess it was just, it was really just following that same thing and really it was basically, I don't know, maybe I'm just confused because the movie didn't do as good a job of setting it up and explaining things than, you know, the original. It was too, this one was too, you know, too afraid of slowing down. And, yeah. In the review I mentioned that some sort of relationship -y moments work. Uh, in, in addition to the Laurie Quaid relationship marriage thing, I also felt like the stuff on the train worked when you know, when, when Quaid is talking about how, oh, Hauser must be, you know, a real hero to these guys, and, you know, he got the big bro hog there, and, yeah, you know, the, the you know, the, the big wish I knew how to quit you moment, and, and then he talks about how, you know, I, I hope I can live up to this, you know, what, what if the best is gone, you know, what if, what if the part of me that they needed is gone? He's, he's expressing this kind of doubt, and she's kind of trying to help make him feel better. That felt genuine. I could understand why he was afraid, and I could understand her sort of, you know, I could appreciate that she was trying to help. You know, it, it felt genuine. I really wish that that had been true of every other action of those two characters, and in general, the characters in the movie, you know, and I, I like the bit with, you know, oh, Hauser would be a real jerk, you know, and yeah. I suppose that covers it. Yes. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.